Good evening, friends, and welcome to the world of the International Fab Talks. Fab Talks is about connecting with unsung heroes and the youth of India and the youth of the world. And ask me why, dear friends, because there are several people who want the very best for one and all. We have someone joining us with lots of interest and lots of passion with regard to the educational sector. We would like to focus on his thoughts and views with regard to education and what he is really good at doing. Join us, friends, to welcome Mr. Nagesh Ji. He's joining us all the way from Hubli, Karnataka, India. Hello, sir, and welcome to the session. Hello, ma'am, and uh, thank you for your uh, opportunity. So I thank uh, International Fab Tax uh, team for providing an opportunity to share my views through this. Yes. Thank you, sir. With your permission, I go ahead and share your profile, and then we start the session. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you so much. Friends, uh, I would like you to know who is Nagesh, sir. What does he do? How is he connected to the academic sector? Let's get to know more about him. Dear friends, it's always a honor to share the profile of our celebrities and guests. So here is a young person out there to do his very best for the educational sector. Nagesh G, sir, focuses on JE mains, uh, Karnataka Common Entrance Test, Aptitude, Reasoning, etc. is a wonderful Vedic Maths trainer, a wonderful coach. He's also the co-founder of Viveka Academy, Kubli, Karnataka, India. And apart from that, my dear friends, there's much more to this personality. He loves to play chess, caroms, table tennis, works on ancient Indian methods of mathematics. That's really very nice. And sir has cleared the gate exams nearing seven times. And he loves to bond with the students and make them understand the importance of education. He loves to network and be of use to his country. So here he is with us to share his thoughts and views. Let's get to know more about this young gentleman, my dear friends. Join us. Hello, sir, and welcome to the session. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Over to you. How would you define yourself? People would want to know more about you. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, basically, I am an engineer. Uh, graduated uh, in uh, electronics and communication from uh, BBB College, uh, Bubri. So I actually, after my graduation, I joined uh, uh, Robert Bosch company. So I worked for six months, but I found that uh, that's not uh, my field. So my field, uh, I thought uh, my uh, interest would be in uh, teaching. So then what I thought uh, uh, after uh, six months of experience in a job, I mean, in the MNC company, I left it and then uh, I have come for teaching. In Bangalore, I actually worked for six months as a trainer for uh, CPT classes for CA. Then after that, I have come to my place uh, where I have done my engineering. That's Subli. Uh, there, I, I have started uh, uh, a coaching center and also have joined as a part-time uh, lecturer in uh, mathematics in a college. So uh, my journey starts with uh, the academy. See, it, it goes like this. Initially, uh, when I started Viveka Academy, we, we had, I had that intention of making the students uh, feel better in mathematics. So the first batch I started was a supplementary batch. The students who have failed in uh, second PUC, so they will have one month of time uh, for the preparation of the next exam. So they'll be writing the supplementary exam. So I started with that batch. And uh, during that batch, we have faced, we have faced uh, many difficulties. Uh, th th during that time, we came to know how the education system is now and how, how the students are faced, I mean, what basics, what uh, problems the students are uh, really facing in the understanding the subject. So basically what we did, we started with a supplementary batch and uh, there are some 10 students who have failed in uh, second PC and they have joined my classes. Out of those, you, you may believe it or not, there was a lady who was 40 years old and uh, she was appearing for that second PC exam since, since, uh, since what, uh, maybe some 18, 20 years. Still, she was never able to clear that exam because the, the, her, her basics were not proper. And uh, she consulted many institutions, coaching centers, and nobody was uh, interested in, uh, I mean, taking the admission of her. That's because obviously the students may get embarrassed. But when he, when she approached me, I felt happy that uh, she has that enthusiasm still to clear the exam. And uh, you know it or not, 
so her her son was writing diploma exam and she was writing second pc exam and yes she joined the class and the, all those 10 students who have failed in mathematics and also in physics okay they have cleared it and also they have scored 80 plus percentage within one month of time so then what uh, what we thought what i have come to know is the students are failing in exams generally because of their improper basics they are generally poor at the basics so what we thought so let's focus on this so my my intention of starting viveka academy is not about improving the what uh, the brilliant ones see already the students who score 90 if you just guide them they score 95 where tutoring is actually required tutoring is required for those students who are actually facing difficulties and who are failing in the exams the students are failing in exams not because they are not good they are failing in exams because they do not have proper guidance and one more thing they they are not they are not that good at basics so we thought of we, we thought of opening that instead i mean our intention of the academy is to improve the basics of the students and uh, what to 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 uh, to get that enthusiasm enthusiasm back in the students who actually have failed in the exam so after my first batch okay the, then we have got uh, some strength of some 30 30, 30 35 students and uh, the to my wonder most of them even though they have scored pretty good marks in uh, uh, 10th standard and 11th standard their prop their basics were not proper that is because my our, our parents uh, and our education system focuses on marks rather than understanding the concepts so the students when they have exam they used to buy the concepts or they used to buy used to buy some derivations and they used to write the exam they used to pass it but those skills which are required to analyze or to to compare i mean to crack any comparative were not there in the students so what we have done we started focusing on improving the basics of the students and uh, uh, the first batch so we got pretty good results uh, then uh, we have got uh, the admissions go on increasing. Uh, we, we, we majorly focused on uh, building the mathematics concepts. Then we also started taking the physics and chemistry. So I also take uh, physics subject and also mathematics subjects. After that, uh, when, when the talk goes on here, the number of students uh, increased, but still the the same even though number of students has increased i out of those all those students i used to find very few students who have actually good basics so uh, what we thought uh, we have to improve somehow so we started with the uh, okay when they have come to the first pc or second pc we are coming to know that they have uh, poor basics so what i thought let me go into the root and let's try to clear it so we started with the uh, uh, classes for 8th, 9th, 10th. So, so that the students will have good basics uh, in 8th standard itself. And when they come to, to 11th or 12th, they're ready to, the, to face any competitive exams. See, nowadays in education system, it's all about competitors. So uh, if you want to get any engineering seat, let's or any medical seat, or any uh, 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 BSc seat in BSc seat in what in uh, KV, using KVPY or any 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 good exam any good uh, college you want to enter you have to obviously write competitive exams. So majority of the students who clear JWE or NEET are not are, are from uh, North India. You can observe majority of them are from uh, Rajasthan or uh, UP or Bihar or uh, uh, Delhi. So the number of students who are getting into NITs or IITs from Karnataka is very, very less now. And that too in North Karnataka it is very less because the students are not exposed enough and their basics are not proper. So what we thought, we, we have to get into the root and we have to fix them. So we have started with the 8th and 10th. There we are fixing the basics of the students. And in 11th and 12th, we are guiding them uh, uh, for the competitive exams. and. I got a student, uh, I, I, I have to tell this, uh, one sto story of my one student, actually he was from Bangalore. So he joined this institution here, uh, he was in 11th CBSE. 
uh, that student actually tried to commit suicide four times in his life. That's because he thought he was not competitive enough to write any exams. And uh, uh, because of the lot of pressure, see in the, in the college what happens is in Bangalore, uh, generally the students basics are good and the competitive comp competition is more. This student was also good, but because of the lack of awareness and the lack of interest in uh, subject, okay, he was he, he attempted suicides three or four times. Uh, he, he generally failed in uh, mathematics in 10th standard and also in 11th, he somehow passed. His parents thought he may not clear uh, CBS 11th, so they put him into NIOS system, so open system exam system. Uh, and they also thought that he may not clear that exam also. Then they have sent me to what uh, coaching for coaching to just to clear that exam. It happened in uh, around 2019, I think. I hope so. Okay. So then what I have observed is his, his basics were good and he was actually a good student. He was brilliant. But only big, only thing was he was not interested in the subject because he didn't get that proper guidance. So uh, I coached him for one month and uh, he has scored 94 in the mathematics. And after that, he has also come for physics and chemistry exam. I mean, when I have a system exam is like this, in uh, December, we will have some exams and in uh, month of uh, March or April, we will have some exams. So he has done good in uh, mathematics in uh, December exam and he has also come for physics and chemistry for March or April exam. And uh, uh, during that time, because of COVID, the exams got cancelled. And uh, the, the, uh, his parents wanted him to become an engineer. But uh, he was not interested in mathematics at all. He had that aptitude. He was not interested because he didn't get that proper guidance. So when he cleared mathematics exam with 94 marks, so he has actually become interested in uh, joining uh, any engineering exam. But uh, after, uh, for any KCT or uh, JWE, we hardly have one and a half to two months of time because uh, his exam, uh, his NIOS exam got over in January month and we hardly have uh, February or March for the, for that JWE exam. And uh, his parents thought, so let him join uh, engineering college using management quota. But I had that belief this student might clear any competitive exam. So, and I, I approached their parents and I told them to uh, fill his form from JW application and I told them I'll make him clear JW within two months. And the parents actually didn't believe uh, be, uh, because because of his past. Okay, so then what we, what uh, what I did is I filled his application and uh, I coached him for one and a half month and he has cleared JW and now he is in NIT Calicut. That student who has actually failed in 10th standard mathematics and also who was not that good at studies, uh, the, the parents thought and he himself thought he was not that competitive enough. He has joined NIT Calicut and he is doing pretty good now. Uh, he, uh, maybe in one or two years, uh, he, he, one year, he will be completing his engineering. See how that life changes. See the students, major, major, majority of the students are actually good, but they're not getting that proper guidance. And they are thinking they're not competitive enough. The students do not have that confidence in themselves, thinking that, I mean, they, they are, they're looking at the competition outside and they have to focus more on the subject rather than the competition outside. See, we have, uh, yes, obviously there is competition. Uh, in India, there are around, around 40,000 plus NIT, IIT seats together and 12 lakh people will be writing. So obviously there is competition, but those 40,000 seats, if you want to get it, you have to be good. Okay, so the thing is, the, if, you want to, if you want to clear any competitive exams, you, have, you, you need to brush up your basics and you have to, you have, to have confidence in, the, in, in yourself, thinking that you will clear that exam. That, comp, that, that confidence is missing in the students. And what, we, what generally teachers and the parents are making the mistake is, the teachers are simply focusing on the concepts of, uh, I mean, higher concepts rather than uh, brushing up the basics of the students, right? So because of that, what generally the students are doing is, yes, they are understanding the concepts, but they are not able to apply them. 
they are not apply they are not able to apply them in the competitive exams and they are getting less marks in the board exams or whatever competitive exams and what parents generally do parents parents just uh, they, they just force the student to, to study they force the students to study but they are not finding it that they are not finding the root cause of it why the students are getting less marks and if the student is getting less marks what teachers do teachers just scold them or teachers just hit them they, they, they just give punishment and what parents do they also give punishment then the student obviously will go on losing that uh, motivation or confidence in himself so what basically we need to do as a education system we have to focus more on the basics of the students so i and we have to build that aim or uh, that motivation to clear any competitive exam so i and uh, it's not just about the jwr neat so it's all about all the streams and uh, every student is unique uh, that means what i'm going to say is some students may not be good at mathematics obviously and they will have that aptitude in the other subjects and uh, there was one, one of one of my student he was a national level karate player and uh, obviously i can't expect him to be uh, scoring what 90 95 percentage in mathematics because his aptitude is different his aptitude is in his sports and there was one of there was one student who was actually good at singing and uh, his aptitude is in different stream so as a teacher as a society what we should do we should focus on the aptitude of the student so what basically the trend is going on now in the education system is majority of the parents and students are willing to do jwe or neat or any uh, only these two options they are majorly looking at to, to become a doctor or to become an engineer see if every, if everybody becomes doctor who is the patient then right so basically what we should do other than these things we have to identify the aptitude in the student and we have to train it according to that we have to train him or her according to that uh, aptitude Th that that's what we are doing it now so basically what i do in my academy is so when the student comes so first we will identify his aptitude we will call the parents and we will tell them this is his aptitude and he is having let's say he is having good aptitude in mathematics so let him let him let him do engineering or let him do bsc mathematics and let's say if one student has aptitude in uh, biology let him do yes mbbs if one student has uh, aptitude in uh, let us say uh, uh, sports yeah let him continue with that okay so in whichever subject or whichever stream the student has aptitude he or she will succeed only if he or she chooses that stream if if you are forcing the student if you are forcing the student to join jwe or jo to join to do neat it may not it may not be possible for every student so in my academy when the student joins i tell the parents so see it's my first condition whatever the aptitude the student has he or she has to go to that stream so basically what we do so when the student joins here so i'll take see even for 10th 11th and 12th standard students so we will start with the addition subtraction that is because see majority of the students are ignorant about those the, uh, about those basics they are not uh, focused on those basics they are losing marks only in those concepts so even though you do not know, even though student if does if he or she doesn't know 1 plus 1 also we are ready to teach that is how the teacher should be teacher should have the patience if the student doesn't know 1 plus 1 and even if he is in first pc or second pc we have to be ready to teach it because as a teacher it is our responsibility so we are we are, we, we start with the basics of uh, mathematics then we are go on uh, uh, yeah, yeah the, after some 10 15 days after improving their basics yes then you can teach the subject and not only teaching the subject is important the mode of teaching is important and you have to be connected with the students so if you are not connected with the students they will not listen to your class and uh, see the ma majority of the students so they they listen to your class no, not just the students any any conversation if it is two way communication then obviously it is uh, impactful so for that every teacher should be connected with the students and we have to listen to their personal uh, problems also and we have to uh, try to clarify those problems also then only the students will focus on the studies so this is what we are basically doing in my academy so uh, as of now 
to to tell uh, my academic academic experience here in my in in, in my academy uh, this this happened uh, previous year so one student actually has scored uh, three marks in uh, theory exam he failed uh, he, he actually he's, he actually thought uh, uh, he's, he scored some 96 percentage in uh, 10 standard and he scored only three marks in mathematics in uh, second PUC. Uh, he failed in exam and then he has come. Uh, he has uh, he has come to me for supplementary exam. For supplementary exam, we'll have hardly one month of time. And uh, in one month of time, from three marks, he went on to score 92 marks. And he had that confidence, See, he had that knowledge. The students are basically distracted from the studies. So when we when we take them into the correct path, obviously they will they will score good. And that student who has scored 92, uh, he actually failed in a theory exam, uh, board exam, and he scored 92 in a supplementary exam. See how much confidence has he he has got. He has opened a coaching center himself now. He is in engineering first year. He is in engineering first year, and he is. He's taking the coaching for the engineer, I mean, uh, second PC students. But that, that's how confident he has become. He See, this, every kid, every student is good. Every student is talented. Only thing we have to bring them into the stream. So then why these problems are happening? Why these problems are happening? These problems are happening majorly because of the misuse of phone, mobile phone. The, the students, majority of the students, they are, get, they are getting access to the unwanted content when they are, when they are in a 10th, 11th and uh, 12th standard. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, internet does good things and also it uh, does bad, bad things to us. Majority of the students, we easily get uh, distracted by the bad things. So, uh, basically, uh, 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 the student who is in 10th, 11th and 12th, so parents, what they need to do, they need to try to avoid the phone. And you cannot do it forcibly. Uh, if you try to force him to avoid the phone, uh, it may go in the other way. So there are some uh, cases, uh, My, I mean, some of the parents have uh, faced. Uh, even the uh, many students try to commit suicide when they, have, uh, uh, when they have detached from the phone. So basically what we should do, how we can avoid that distraction or how we can avoid that phone is basically we need to build that motivation to study. So once they get that motivation, obviously they will avoid that mobile phone. So you have to somehow bring that motivation. You will, you, you will be able to bring that motivation only if you know what the students is, what the student is interested in. Now, for example, if the student is student is interested in, let us say, badminton, okay, you put him into badminton coaching and parallel you put him into the uh, classes, that's fine. When you put him into badminton coaching, so he or she will be, if, if he or she is interested, obviously he or she will uh, put some time on it and he won't, uh, he will be having less time to get distracted. And one more thing, the main reason the student gets, uh, or, uh, I mean, addicted to mobile is because parents are not careful enough. Parents are not watchful on the students. They will have, uh, uh, at the age of 11, I mean, when they are in 11th and 12th, generally what parents do. So just for the study purpose, they will, uh, they will give him a separate room. And when the student has a separate room, and uh, we think that uh, the student may be studying, and the student may not be studying. He may be using internet, right? So internet, as I said, internet does good things as well as bad things. We don't know what actually happening inside the mind of the student. So basically what we should do. So it's not uh, necessary to provide him a separate room. Let him sit in the hall and let him uh, read in front of you. And one more thing. So you are expecting your student or your child to, get, to not get distracted by mobile. In that case, you should not be using the mobile much. So parents also should not be using the mobiles much. So the students or the child, they learn not by listening to us. They learn by looking at us. See how we behave, the students, they also behave in the same way. See, if you have, uh, let's say, if you, uh, if you are wearing good shirts and good t-shirts, or let's say if you're, good, if, you're looking, if you're looking good and uh, you are having that, uh, uh, what, let's say, good words, you are talking good words in your, in your atmosphere, okay, then the students also learn the same. And if you are expecting your student to read or uh, focus on the subjects 
okay then your parents also it is important that parents also have that habit of reading so you may not be reading the subject parents may not be reading the subject you read any other book whichever it is related so maybe novels or maybe stories whatever you read you read it at home the students will look at you and he or she will also start reading so that that is one thing how you can avoid mobile distraction and uh, one more thing is see try to get uh, try to know what uh, interest the student has i mean let's say if he is having uh, uh, interest in uh, subjects like arts uh, okay or let's say social so it is not uh, uh, it's okay uh, if he can choose uh, arts or commerce whatever choose whatever field so it's not uh, see uh, basically what we are doing the students who are interested who are really interested in arts we are forcing them to join uh, science so when we obviously force them to join science if they are where they are not interested obviously they will lose interest in studies every field now has the opportunities in jobs see that there are many different jobs there are jobs available and actually we are not getting enough people for the jobs we we need people with the skills skills are more important rather than your marks so that is one thing and one more thing if you want your students to improve or focus on studies see first look where he or she is lacking uh, i mean where in which subject he or she is lagging or lacking some concepts and then you put him into pro you put him proper basics and the uh, my request to parents is do not focus more on the marks you can you focus more on the concept building that if if you if you build the concepts of the concepts in the mind of the student obviously marks will come and what generally happens in uh, this the i, I am just uh, comp- i have seen uh, many schools and many colleges of north karnataka i have done 100 plus workshops in uh, mathematics in uh, uh, north karnataka schools what i have observed is see the parents let us say when uh, a teach when a student gets less marks let's say out of 40 he gets some two or three we just call the student and we take him to the teacher and we will also try scolding the teacher saying that if he if the student has not got, got good marks teacher is not good enough it's not the case so teacher will be teacher will be guiding you guiding the every student in the equal i mean in the same way and some students may be may, may not be having aptitude in that so what basically as a teacher and as a parent what we should do we have to sit together and we have to check where this where the student is lagging and we have to guide them right every kid is talented every kid has that aptitude and we have to train according to that aptitude so the, these are my uh, experiences in my academy and uh, to, uh, uh, to tell me about myself I, I i have to tell about i have to tell about one story of uh, my friend so which is very important actually uh, one, i had a friend called as uh, praveen uh, he he has completed he had he had done a second pc and and he joined uh, engineering uh, you believe it or not he had uh, some seven backlogs in engineering and his his interest his field of interest was not engineering he always wanted to join uh, army and somehow because of his parents way she joined engineering and uh, he he, he had uh, backlogs obviously because he was not interested in the subject then for i think there were during the 2015 so there were 120 seats available uh, i think so for uh, that ssc exam uh short service commission exam he has cleared it with a all over india rank of 80 that student who has who had backlogs in engineering 7 to 8 backlogs in engineering can get a air of 80 that means he has that aptitude and there was one more uh, uh, friend of mine he actually had 12 backlogs in engineering and uh, but he, he has he has that different capabilities now he has become a manager in icici bank that means every student or every kid has capabilities only thing we have to provide them opportunities so uh, my, my intention our academy focuses on the uh, what the students to build the concepts and to bring that motivation back see the students who may be who are scoring 90 or 95 it is easy to coach them I, it is easy to question yes that's that's correct because 90 to 95 we can bring it we can bring him bring him up that's easy but 
the students who are actually scoring the 30 35 marks we have to bring them to 1995 even they are equally capable they they are they are lacking that uh, guidance so in my in in our academy okay i my my our intention is to build those basics and bring that uh, i mean bring all those students to the same level and for students what basically they do uh, generally students uh, they focus more on the uh, marks okay and rather than learning the concepts and uh, uh, where it i mean uh, they, they will face they may not face difficulties in the lower standards but they'll obviously face difficulties while uh, clearing the competitive exams so though those students who are aiming to clear competitive exams what i request them is to uh, improve your basics 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 see uh, you, you can see the JWE exam uh, okay you have right according to a recent survey it is the world's second toughest exam if you want to crack that exam obviously you have to be so good you have to be so good and you should have that analytical skills see you will get those reasoning skills or analytical skills not just by solving the problems see uh, I'll, I'll give an example if you play chess okay you will you will you will get you will get that confidence and also you'll get that uh, what i can say the skill of uh, thinking ahead for example let's say they have given a problem how to approach that problem you will come to know if, if, if you are if you are playing that chess okay so and uh, let us say if you are playing that carom obviously you'll get that focus and uh, uh, to, to be uh, what what i mean is it's not just important for you to study it is also important for you to involve in the activities you involve in the activities more and more and nowadays what has become what 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 actually happens in this case in uh, in this part of the city i'll tell you the class timings or the college timings are from 7 to 7 that means from morning 7 a.m till 7 p.m the students are entirely and i mean the students are spending the classes 12 hours of their time in the classes obviously it's a burden for a student so the students after coming out of the classes so they have to focus i mean they, they should have some time for uh, for what sports they have to involve some in some activities you will study you will you will go, you will get good marks or or you will clear any competitive exams that's that's fine that you will be able to do if your mind is fresh enough okay so i try to involve in activities try to involve in sports come out of the room Come out of the room, spend, spend some 40 45 minutes of time in sports, and come out of the room, mingle with your relatives, mingle with your parents, right? So, and also parents also. So, give some time to your uh, uh, students and uh, be, be kind to them, and uh, also be watchful how what the student is doing, and uh, be careful about uh, his, his friend circle or her friend circle. That is very that is very very important. Your atmosphere is very important. In in hundred students batch, if some ten students are not good, I mean if they are if they are uh, distracted in some way, all those hundred students get there is a possibility all those hundred hundred students get distracted. So it is very important to choose your circle wisely, right? So this is all about uh, my academic experience in this part of the Google. Yes, sir. That was really a brilliant one that you shared very nicely. You've given a lot of personal examples as well. You focused on where the growth of the student takes place yes. and to focus on the basics rather than the concepts. You know, and you've given so many examples and all the online reviews which we have gone through, they've given a lot of positive online reviews with regard to Vivek Academy. That's really wonderful. Yes. And as you said, even you should focus on extra co-curricular activities apart from studies, a little shift so that they feel a little less burdened. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You know, that, that, that is examples of how they have reached uh, into different uh, you know, organizations. They have started up their own startups as well, a yes, few of them. They have found their inner strength. And you, are you focused on aptitude? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Identifying but, the right aptitude. Yeah, as I said, the student, ha every, every kid has uh, that uh, ability. We have to bring it up. So uh, uh, as uh, as as of now, what I did is initially I started with one student, uh, the supplementary batch. Uh, as I said, right? I started with one student. Now we have reached hundred plus students. So it's it's all because of word of mouth. So if if you are doing something well for the society, obviously there is a uh, uh, the, there will be a growth. 
so we have got a positive reviews from uh, all uh, all my students because we we uh, we, we don't feel, i mean uh, we don't treat the students as a student so we have to treat them as a family then only student will share their personal problems or their educational problems with us we have to be more attached with the students we have to be more involved with the students then we will be able to clear the problems of the students and we will be able to fetch that knowledge or whatever that uh, aptitude they have so we have to be able to extract it then only it, it is possible otherwise if you are detached from them and uh, we are trying to just teach or coach so it is not possible to for to extract the talent we have now for in in them yes very true sir now for me what is surprising is how are you able to identify all of this you're very young and okay. how did you get to know see this is an insight where maybe a 60 year old person should have all of this but you are quite young and you are sharing all of that it really amazes me like not only focusing on the academics you are also focusing on the well being of the mental state of the child the emotional well being of the child you are focusing on like treating the child as a family member solving the personal problems that the child might be facing at his or her age maybe with a family problem or it could be a personal problem it could be just something so you said earlier the teacher should be able to connect with the child not only with the subject matter at hand but also on the other level at a personal level yes ma'am really uh, wonderful yeah basically what actually uh, i thought is uh, i st i started actually teaching uh, i mean i, I have to tell the uh, little bit of my childhood uh, to uh, tell you regarding this so i started solving aptitude problems when i was in third standard uh, why i said atmosphere is important when i was in third standard uh, my uncle used to prepare for the government exams he was a uh, he was a kannada teacher and he used to appear for uh, different cd exams and he used to bring those uh, questions and uh, when uh, he used to solve those questions aptitude questions even i used to feel like solving those questions when i was in third standard so uh, he he appeared for government exams maybe for four or five years of time he spent uh, that much time and from third standard to eighth standard i used to sit with him and i used to solve aptitude problems so that, that that's what i said when parents start reading even the students get i mean they, they get that motivation to read so i started reading because my uncle used to study so and then uh, it it continued and when i was in uh, puc or when i was in engineering so i i got marks not just by reading i got marks by teaching it to the teaching it to my friends so when i was when i was in engineering i used to read the concepts and i used to teach it to my friends so that's how i i i uh, so at, uh, as you said at this age i came to know about these possibilities because i started my teaching when i was in 11th and 12th so i had that earlier 6 year, six years of experience i i used to know what difficulties my students or uh, uh, sorry my friends used to face so i and uh, when i have come here so uh, i i was of uh, very small i mean i was very young uh, like uh, maybe some 24 25 years uh, uh, when i was uh, when i started my coach teaching here during that time uh, uh, i when i was teaching second pc students they are just uh, five to six years uh, younger to me so and they used to treat me like a brother so and uh, we, we had we had that uh, connection somehow so i as i said i joined a college so there we had a strength of 120 and a majority of the students uh, they were they were from rural background and uh, you know the, the, there is uh, one good thing about the students from rural background is they will get easily attached to the teacher and as i was young they used to treat me like brother brother and they used to share all those experiences what what difficulties they used to uh, face so that helped me to upbring them so i uh, that's what i implemented in my academy also when, when i have come here and when i looked carefully so i i felt st no student is uh, i mean no student uh, uh, every student is good at uh, uh, studies but the thing is they are not focusing on the studies because of that atmosphere so i observed this at very young age and uh, that's how we got uh, connected uh, with the students and we we try to upbring them Yes, sir. That's really very nice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and explaining it all so well. And we'd love people to connect with you. Now, if somebody who views this video and they want to connect with you, 
Now, yeah. how is the mode and what is the mode of connecting with you? So, if anybody wants to connect with us, uh, you can, uh, he or she can uh, connect with using the contact number. So, I can share the contact number uh, 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 to you. And also, uh, uh, if you want, you can, I can give me contact number here. Yes, please. You can share the number, please. Yes. Uh, uh, one can note down 9071403393. So anyone can contact on this number 24 by 7. And if any student having difficulties in subject, I mean, uh, in some, some in a few days, uh, the students have again one more exam for second PUC and even for the 10th. So if any student having any difficulties, he or she can call me at any time. He or she can call me at 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock also. So it's fine. So we are ready to coach them. And if it is distant mode also, yes, I am fine. So we, we are okay with that. And, and online and offline also you are okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. If, if the students are feeling, or if they, if they are not able to come to the uh, Ubli or Darwat, so we are okay with the offline online mode also. But only thing, so I request the parents. So if they are taking online classes, so I request the parents to be, uh, I mean, the, let the students sit in the hall or uh, hall of the home. Okay, and they let, let, let them listen to my class. Let them not sit in the personal room. As I said, there is a possibility that they may get distracted. So uh, when, I, when, I was, when I start online classes, I'll tell the parents that uh, make sure that your student sits in the hall so that uh, he or she will listen to my class rather than getting distracted in the online. Yes, sir. I'd like you to repeat your number once again. Yes, ma'am. 9071. Four zero double three nine three. Yes, sir. thank you so much, sir. Very much impressed with your thought process, the hard work that you do, and I really would like to share this. I would, I wish that I had you as my a tutor and trainer when I was a kid because I did not like science. Of course, mathematics was okay. I did not like science, especially physics. And if you were the one who would like give me that push. Definitely, I would have been a science student. Nevertheless, I am an art student, but still, I I miss that. Uh, you know the push from the right kind of person. So you're that mentor, you're that coach, you're that guide for all those students who really need that push, uh, finding your aptitude and getting to know where your strength lies. And sir helps you to do that. Viveka Academy, that's wonderful. I'm really very impressed with your, with your thought process. And I wish the many more youth of India you know, and the world as well, think yeah. on the same lines, the way you think so deeply to bring uh, the students up. As you said, the... Ones who are already scoring 80 and 90, they will score. They don't need much of our effort. It is the ones who are not performing to guide them and bring them on track. There yes. lies your you know, power. Majority of the students, see, uh, in my eight years of time, so around uh, 10 to 15 students tried to commit suicide. So I, I have seen that. Uh, I, I felt uh, actually bad because uh, 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 why I started getting connected with the students is one of my friends, he joined uh, NIT and I don't know what happened. He was really good. Uh, he was a really kind uh, person. Uh, he committed suicide uh, when, when, I was, when, when he was doing uh, MTech. So I was, uh, I, I, I was shocked by that incident. He was a really good student and still uh, we, don't know, we don't know the reason yet. So why he committed suicide. That incident hit me and uh, because of that, then I realized, so there is something pro something problem with the personal lives or maybe the, or, or some personal issues are there with the students, not just the uh, educational issues, not just the study issues. So that's why I thought of connecting with the students so to uh, uh, bring their uh, skills. Very, very appealing and very, you know, I am really happy and proud of your thought process because you're connected with the emotional side of the child, the psychological aspects, and as well as the academic aspects. Yes. So I wish you all the best in all your endeavors, sir. And I wish that many students who are not performing well get connected with you and perform well and pass out and get good marks and they start their own establishments as they have already started a few of them yes. and or have landed up in very good jobs. And really wish the very best for all the students. So dear students, if you feel to share this video with your friends who's not a, not a good performer and wants the basic concepts to be taught to them in the right way, please do get them connected with Viveka Academy. It will be really very beneficial for that 
student or for your friend. We never know because one student, he may be very performing very well, but in his group, there may be one or two or three friends of his or hers who, who, do, who underperform. So we'll find out the underlying reason and then guide the child. So get them connected with Sir. Sir is Nagesh, Sir, a wonderful person. And his thought process is one of the best, which I have seen. Till date, we've crossed around about 400 interviews we have taken for different individuals. But you have a very impressive mindset, wanting to transform the young minds. There lies your beauty of being a great human being in this universe. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. We look forward to many more interactions with you in future as well. Thank you so much and stay blessed and stay safe. Please continue the good job that you are doing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for providing my, uh, providing an opportunity to share my waves uh, with the people. Thank it's you. It's our pleasure, sir. Thank you. Thank you. My dear friends, with this, we come to an end to the International Fab Talks for today. Do us a favor, share this video with as many people as you can, especially the students, such that they get to know as to what Nagesh sir wants from each student and how he wants to see them shining. You would want to see people bloom. And of course, the universe has to have positivity. And here is a person filled with positivity. Do, do connect with sir and get to know more about Viveka Academy. You can even check online. There are lots of positive reviews. And of course, if you like what we are doing, stay connected with us, stay blessed and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.